and welcome to the Book Chronicles. This is Shannon, and today I wanted to do a review I that I just finished a few days ago. I finished Ember and the Ashes, and I know I was going to do a read along reading vlog of both these, both these, and the sequel, Torch Against the Night. But a lot of things happened. The cat got sick, and I wasn't able to finish both books last week, last weekend. But I did finish this one, and I'm working on the next one, Torch Against the Night. And this is going to be a kind of a spoiler, spoilery review. So if you have not read this, please um, click off now. I don't so you're not spoiled. Um, or if you've read this. Um, Keep watching and you'll hear my thoughts and feels on this book, Amber in the Ashes. This follows the two perspectives, Laia and Elias. And Laia is a, what is called a scholar. And she gets sent to, sent to Bark, it's kind of Blackcliff Academy, um, shortly after, um, the Empire, in the, they call him the, also they call him Mask, um, invade her home and imprison her brother. And so what she does is she eventually meets up and finds the, the Resistance who, who allegedly claim to help her, um, find her brother. So, so what they ask in return is for her to spy on, on the academy, Black Cliff Academy, and she goes through a lot. Let me tell you, she she um, is under the command of the commandant, who puts her basically puts her through hell, carves a K into her skin, and just really hurts her and tortures her. She goes through a lot just to get you know, and she's trying to. She had these secret meetings in the meantime with Keenan to see if she's uncovered anything, any useful information. So what happens is, and Eli Elias is kind, he was going to desert to begin with. He, he does not like being in the Empire. He does not want to be there. And he has his best friend, Hel Hel Helene, um, who... They go through these trials, these these four trials, and the last one being the trial of, of loyalty, of courage, and um, the last one ends up being where he has to kill Laia. So basically, what happens is he ends up he's he him and Kanan both, I believe, have feelings for her, for Laia, and um, so what happens is. They eventually, they eventually get away. Um, after the last trial, they um, pretend to kill Laia, and she ends up breaking him free because he's gets he's on the verge of getting put to death, and also to be beheaded by not own, not none other than Helene, his best friend. So. Um, what happens there, that goes wrong, and they create this diversion and get away into his chambers. There's a secret underground tunnel, and basically, I mean, that's what, this book is full of a lot of, lots of twists and turns. It's very, very, it keeps you just not wanting to put it down. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this, and this one, I... I'm not too far into it, but it seems like it's going to be just as good, if not better. And, but I can't, I mean, I'm just surprised I haven't read this before because I definitely am going to give this, I gave this five stars because I love, I love this, love this book and this story. Um, this is definitely a highly recommended fantasy book. Um, if you like a lot of action it starts from the get go. There's, I mean, there's no pull part of it that's boring, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but this, anyway, this is just a quick video to go over because I, I felt like this book deserved a review on its own because it was that good, and I love her writing style. Um, and 
Anyway, um, I will go ahead and end this video here. If you like this review, thumbs up. Please subscribe. And um, don't forget to um, turn on that notif hit, click that notification bell if you want to see um, re um, get notifications whenever me and Mel post new videos. Um, usually we are together in a video. She's just not in this one um, right now. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, talk to you later, guys. See ya.